Ah, hello my fellow adventurers. Steve the Amateur Historian here with you. And as I try to defy Mother Nature's tear ducts here, I'm venturing the Northwest Portland area. Glancing around the corner, I should be able to see the Montgomery Park building setting for one of the worst nights of my life. But that's another story. And I'm not actually here to talk about the Montgomery Park building. I'm here to talk about what was directly across the street from it. Steve the Amateur Historian. The grand reveal. And... Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da. Dun da da dun da na 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 And yes, that was the old 1980s TriStar theme. Screw you. However, before I actually finish my jaunt up the streets of Montgomery Park building, I do need to stop and take note of what is now uh driveway with a big building in the background. This here was the site of a baseball park here on Vaughn Street. I think it was even called like the Vaughn Street Park or something along those lines. There's a plaque over there so I'll be able to figure that out for certain. But anyway, the Portland Beavers, the original Portland Beavers baseball team that, you know, kind of vanished in the middle 1900s. This is where they played their games and it was awesome. It was just beat up old run down ballpark. You know, kids would run up to the walls because the, you know, the wood would be cracking apart. They could actually peer through the walls to see part of the game without having to get a ticket. So yeah, this is where the Beavers play, which is so interesting because it's just so far removed from the rest of Portland. You gotta actually travel a ways to get here. Here we go. Rocky Benevento. I do not know who that is. Uh, but yeah, in commemoration of many years of votable service to the baseball fans. So this guy was probably pretty prominent uh, towards the Beavers and just baseball in Portland in general. Yeah, the Old Vaughn Street Ballpark. Okay, yeah, that was the name of it. Oh, this guy was the groundskeeper. Man, giddy up, doing the Lord's work. And that is awesome. So those are the people that deserve to be commemorated. People that bust their ass all the time. Man, it's so cool just to think there used to be a big wall right here. You look over here, you'd see all the greats playing. You know, the Beavers did ultimately come back to Portland, you know, more recent years, and it just, didn't, I guess it just didn't quite work out. They ended up relocating after not too long. <sighs> Baseball's popularity in Portland is just kind of gradually fizzling out over time. Meanwhile, you know, the popularity of the Blazers have stayed here. The Portland Timbers, soccer, the, the you know, the popularity of soccer, there's always been a little, you know, kind of a niche group that have been into soccer in the Portland area, but that, that market's blossomed while the baseball ones kind of dwindled. And we haven't had a baseball team back here since the Beavers. But again, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about what was across the street from Montgomery Park. I just keep getting sidetracked. We're now coming to the intersection of 27th and Vaughn, kind of on the fringe of the West Hills in the distance. And while well, if you glance off to the north, we can all see the Montgomery Park building is still standing prominent. But back in the 1960s, at least early 1960s, this building was not here. So what was back here, right behind me, once upon a time? Well, this was the site of the old forestry building, forestry center as it was called. Today the Forestry Center stands uh, pretty much across the lot from the Oregon Zoo up in Washington Park, kind of back that way. But originally it stood here because since we're in Northwest Portland, back around the turn of the century, 1800s going to the 1900s, there wasn't a whole lot going on up here. So they picked this general area as the main spot to have the Lewis and Clark Exposition, which happened in 1905, celebrating 100 years since Lewis and Clark reached Oregon. And it was pretty, it was almost a world's fair. It was such a huge thing. And it was like an Olympic village, pretty much. You know, when the Olympics come, a city will just spend millions, billions of dollars to build a big, you know, mess of buildings, a place for people to stay, and then when the Olympics are over, it pretty much just disappears. Well, that's kind of what happened here. A lot of the amazing things they built here kind of just vanished or were abandoned or were torn down. But 
One of the few things that stayed for a long time was the forestry center behind me. Now, the forestry center, when it was built and when it was, you know, standing, was the largest log cabin in the world. Literally in the world. It, it was huge. It was like a lodge. And there was, uh, logs were literally handpicked from Col uh, Columbia County, which is way off that way, uh, kind of up into the peninsula of Oregon, you know, northwest of Portland. And they brought them down here, these huge logs. And to build the exterior and the interior, it was a gorgeous building. You know, a lot of people I read, you know, one guy commented on it, talked about how it was a waste of lumber, and I can't believe they cut all those trees down, which I understand. We need to preserve nature. We need to stop cutting trees down for no damn reason. But come on, the forestry center was absolutely drop-dead gorgeous, an amazing feat of creation. And you have to understand that at that time, you know, this is over, over 110 years ago, people weren't thinking the same way as you know we do now we weren't as environmentally conscious and still this was an amazing feat of construction the forestry center that stood here but alas that amazing structure that once stood here uh, only lasted for about 60 years uh, in august i believe 1964 the guy that was kind of the maintenance guy the guy that was kind of the groundskeeper watching over the place Right after he left, some old kind of antiquated wiring that dated back to when the building was first built uh, sparked a fire and, you know, there was nobody here to take care of it. And by the time firefighters showed up, it was just, it was a lost cause. The building, you know, made out of pure wood, it, it just went up like a firework. People said flames shot 10 feet in the air. It was just enormous. And it's actually kind of interesting. And one of the things is like, I knew it was right next to the Montgomery Park building, you know, behind me. Uh, but I didn't know what side, was it over here? Was it over there? Was it back there where the parking lot was? And one of the main reasons I was able to find out the forestry center was right here is because looking that way, we're looking south. So this is the south side of the Montgomery Park building. And they said that the fire, just the raw heat, blew out a bunch of these windows on the south side of the building. So I know that the building had to be located along the south side of Montgomery Park and woohoo, figured it out. I'm now just about one block south at Upshur in 28 collection of apartments here and a little marker here denoting the forestry center showing it was here in 1904 you know it was here for the 1905 Lewis and Clark ventures so it was here for almost 60 years we've got you know the imagery the aftermath god look at that so yeah so this was probably more or less you know because this was obviously a huge building that covered an already huge property so this was, you know, the opposite end of it. Because again, we're only about a block south of where I just was. Still so tragic, you know, just one of the many, 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 many things that between the 30s and 70s just vanished, you know, before I was even born, things I really wish I could see in person now that are just tragically just no more. Ah, so all that said, and on that incredibly depressing note, uh, you know, if you ever want to come down, pay homage to one of the most amazing feats of construction this city's ever seen, uh, come on down here to 27th and Vaughn. You'll know, because the Montgomery Park building's right here. And it looks like this is like a, a children's center uh, type uh, location now, so that's how you'll know. Uh, but anyway, come down and pay homage to the great forestry center. And go visit the one up by the, um, up by the zoo, you know? Give them some business. Unless they're crooked, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's a truck coming down here every 10 seconds, I swear. But anyway, <laughs> till next time, this has been Steve the Amateur Historian. God, that's getting redundant. Till next time, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs>